SpaceX is making history and breaking records with its innovative space missions. This progress is fantastic for humanity, pushing the boundaries of space exploration. However, not everyone is happy about SpaceX's success. Some competitors try to take them down by suing them and complaining to regulatory bodies because they are frustrated by Musk and SpaceX doing better than them. This is exactly what Blue Origin did recently. In this video, we'll talk about these actions by Blue Origin and how Musk reacted. But before we dive in, please subscribe to our channel for future updates on these developments. Both Blue Origin and SpaceX were founded by famous tech entrepreneurs with grand ambitions for the future of space travel. Blue Origin was established in 2000 by Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, with the mission of enabling millions of people to live and work in space. SpaceX, on the other hand, was founded in 2002 by Musk, the CEO of Tesla with the goal of reducing space transportation costs to enable the colonization of Mars. Musk, driven by a fear of humanity's extinction, has consistently emphasized the need to make life multiplanetary as a means to preserve human civilization. Despite their different public personas and styles, Bezos and Musk share a common goal to revolutionize space travel and make it more accessible. Both companies aim to reduce the cost of spaceflight through the development of reusable rockets, and both have set their sights on ambitious long-term goals that extend beyond Earth's orbit. Blue Origin's primary focus has been on suborbital space tourism with its new Shepard rocket, named after Alan Shepard, the first American in space. Their ultimate goal, however, is to develop the new Glenn orbital rocket, and eventually, the new Armstrong rocket for lunar missions. SpaceX, meanwhile, has made significant strides in both orbital and interplanetary missions. The Falcon 1 was their first orbital rocket, followed by the highly successful Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets, which are now regularly used for a variety of missions, including launching satellites, resupplying the International Space Station, and even sending payloads into deep space. SpaceX's most ambitious project, the Starship, aims to transport humans to Mars and beyond. From the early days, the competition between Blue Origin and SpaceX has been fierce. This rivalry is not just about who can achieve space milestones first, but also about securing contracts from NASA and other government agencies, attracting private investment, and capturing public imagination. Both companies have been competing for the same opportunities, which has only intensified their efforts and innovations. The competition between Blue Origin and SpaceX has even resulted in legal battles between the two companies. One notable instance occurred when Blue Origin sued NASA over SpaceX. This lawsuit challenged NASA's decision to award a $2.9 billion contract only to SpaceX for developing the human landing system for the Artemis program, which aims to return astronauts to the moon by 2024. Despite these arguments, the U.S. Government Accountability Office and later the U.S. Court of Federal Claims ruled against Blue Origin. The court's decision allowed NASA and SpaceX to proceed with their contract. Blue Origin is now taking a very aggressive stance against SpaceX, further intensifying their already intense rivalry. Recently, the FAA released a draft Environmental Impact Statement, EIS, detailing SpaceX's planned Starship operations at Launch Complex 39A, LC-39A, in Florida. In response, Blue Origin has submitted detailed objections aimed at delaying or altering these plans. This move is a significant escalation in the competition between these two aerospace companies. Furthermore, Blue Origin emphasizes that Starship Super Heavy operations are anticipated to have a significantly larger environmental footprint than any other launch system currently active at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, with its capacity of up to 5,200 metric tons of liquid methane. Starship Super Heavy may require safety buffers that could encroach upon operational areas of other companies, government facilities, and public spaces. But let's take a moment to reflect on the irony here. Blue Origin's complaints about the environmental impact of SpaceX's launches are somewhat hypocritical. It's like a fast food chain criticizing another fast food chain for contributing to obesity, while both are selling double cheeseburgers with extra fries. 
There have been instances where environmental groups sued SpaceX, making their job harder. But when a company that is also in the business of launching rockets complains about the environmental impact, it feels disingenuous. Some of you might be saying, but Blue Origin's rockets are not as harmful as SpaceX's ones. Let's dig into that a bit. Starship Super Heavy uses liquid methane and liquid oxygen as fuel, with a capacity of up to 5,200 metric tons of liquid methane. It stands approximately 120 meters tall and can carry up to 1 and 150 metric tons to low Earth orbit. The environmental impact is significant due to the large quantities of fuel used, contributing to higher CO2 emissions and potential risks associated with launch and landing operations. In comparison, Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket uses liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen. Although the exact capacity in metric tons is not as well documented, it's known to involve significant amounts of liquid oxygen. New Glenn stands approximately 95 meters tall and can carry up to 45 metric tons to low Earth orbit. While liquid hydrogen burns cleaner than methane, the overall environmental impact is not negligible. The production and storage of liquid hydrogen involves substantial energy consumption and potential greenhouse gas emissions. While New Glenn might use liquid hydrogen, which burns cleaner than methane, it's not free from environmental concerns. The production of liquid hydrogen requires significant energy, often derived from fossil fuels, which can offset the cleaner burning process during launch. Plus, the sheer size and frequency of launches proposed by Blue Origin are bound to have a considerable environmental footprint. This is not the first time Jeff Bezos has tried to take down SpaceX. Blue Origin, under Bezos's leadership, has engaged in several legal battles with SpaceX. One prominent example occurred in 2014, when Blue Origin filed a patent for a system to land rockets at sea. SpaceX argued that the concepts outlined in the patent were not novel, and had been proposed by other researchers long before Blue Origin filed their claim. In 2015, the U.S. Patent Trial and Appeal Board sided with SpaceX, invalidating most of Blue Origin's claims in the patent, marking a significant setback for Blue Origin. When you look at Bezos's approach to competition, it's clear he isn't shy about using legal challenges to gain an edge. This is quite different from Musk's attitude. Musk believes that patents often slow down innovation and has made SpaceX's patents open for anyone to use. He has said that SpaceX's real competition isn't other space companies, but the big technological challenges needed to make life multi-planetary. Musk's approach encourages more open competition and cooperation. He sees making SpaceX's technology available to everyone as a way to push the whole industry forward, rather than using legal battles to block others. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.